what's up it's Dallas and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here as always so today we are going to be making my drawstring pants um, I actually posted a TikTok a little while ago that I had these drawstring pants on and I said do you guys want me to film a tutorial do you want the pattern for these pants and you were like absolutely everyone kept commenting saying when is the tutorial gonna be up and what had happened was um, the pattern that I used for those pants I was really happy with at the time and I filmed an entire tutorial about how to sew the pants and like I had filmed everything I hadn't edited it yet but then I was going to a festival and I tried the pants on again and I was like I can make these pants better I reckon so what I did was I downloaded a new pattern which was actually cheaper um, and then I've just adjusted that a tiny little bit, obviously add the cute little drawstring detail, which I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, and they turned out so much nicer. So I'll insert a picture of those pants here. I didn't add the drawstring to those just because I thought they were really busy already. Um, so that's how they turned out. As you can see, they fit a little bit better down the leg. And then this is how the pants from today's tutorial turned out with the drawstring detail and everything as well. So the first thing you're obviously going to need is the pattern that I ended up using. So this one actually has a front and a back, which is good because the initial pattern was just like one pattern piece. Um, and we don't want the front to feel like the back because then you've got no room for your butt. Um, so you'll need to download that one. I will leave it in the description box below and then you can just download that one and then you will be ready to go. So like I said, I am doing some really fun sewing TikToks. So if you want to go ahead and follow me on there, you can. They are super fun. I'll leave that linked in the description box below as well. And without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. Okay guys, so like I said, you are going to need your pattern. So you should have a front piece and a back piece. And just for reference, I cut mine out in an extra small. So I want the stripes to be going down on my um, pants. So what I'm gonna do is lay my pattern out. So what I'm gonna do is cut one with the pattern piece facing up, cause you're gonna need two. And then you're gonna flip it over and then you're going to cut it with the pattern piece facing down. This is also known as cutting with the mirror. So what I'm doing first is just weighing it down with my nice little plant. And then I just go ahead and cut it out with my rotary cutter. And then I'm going to flip it over, weigh it down again, make sure it's really nice and flat. And then we're going to cut out our mirrored piece. So these are both our front piece that I'm cutting out here. And then what we're going to do is just do exactly the same thing with the back piece. So you're going to cut one with it facing up and then cut another with it facing down. And here I'm just cutting out my waistband. So on the pattern, you will notice the waistband is a little bit shorter than this. So all I did was lay out my pattern piece and then add some height to it. So it actually ends up being 10 inches tall and then it's exactly the same as what it was on the pattern piece. So all I did was just add a little bit of height to the top and the bottom. So what we're doing is just placing that right sides together and then pop that aside. We're going to work on our little strap for the waistband as well. All you're gonna need is a 40 centimeter long strap and then just so that like you normally would turn it into a tube. Just use your loop turner to turn that back through and voila, you have your strap. So as you can see, I've just surged down that side that we said before and we're just going to flip that right side out and then you are going to fold it in half. Obviously the half up the top is a little bit smaller than the bottom. So it should look like that. We're gonna pop that to the side. And then what we're gonna do is lay a front piece on top of a back piece with the right sides together. So your crotch shouldn't line up. And as you can see at the top there, there's a little bit of a difference up the top. So then we're gonna surge all the way down the side seam. So here I'm just pinning all the way down so I can keep that nice and straight as I'm sewing. And then I'm just sewing all the way down that side seam. Again, you wanna make sure you're attaching a front piece to a back piece. We're gonna do that with both our legs. So now I've got two front pieces attached to my back piece. You can see I've surged all the way down the side there. So then you're just gonna open that up. So I'm opening that up. So on one side, you've obviously got the front and then the other side, you've got the back. So just open that up, get that really nice and flat because we're going to attach the crotch seams together. And then what I'm gonna do is just grab my other piece and then I'm gonna lay that flat on top of that. Now, it's really important to make sure that you are attaching your front piece to your front piece and your back piece to your back piece. So as you can see, I've pinned where the crotch is on the front 
and then I'm just going to pin where the crotch is on the back as well so the side that's closest to me where I'm pinning now that's the back and you can see that they line up perfectly so then all you need to do is just surge down those sides so I'm just surging the crotch together so you should have something that looks like this now you can go ahead and open that up so it turns itself into a bit of a starting to look like a pair of pants now <laughs> um, and then all we're gonna have to do is just pin all the way from the crotch I always line up the crotch first to make sure those seams match and then all, all the way down the side of the leg and then again all the way down the other side of the leg and then this bits really really easy all you have to do is surge all the way along where you've just sewed so we're gonna go all the way down the leg and then you should be surging the crotch area and then back down the other leg which is super easy so now I'm just flipping those bad boys right side out so you can see all we have to do now is attach the waistband that we've prepared earlier so I'm just going to pop that over the top of the pants so we're going to insert the pants on the inside of the waistband and then it's really important to make sure that you line up the seam on your waistband with the back seam of your pants because we don't want to be seeing that seam at the front so I'm just going to go ahead and pin the back seam of my waistband to the back seam of my pants and then we're just going to go around I usually have to stretch my waistband just a little bit to make it fit the pants but um, we don't want to have to make the waistband bigger because then it won't fit around your waist so I usually just stretch it a little bit so again just making sure <laughs> that you've got the back seam of the um, waistband lined up with the back seam of the pants and all you have to do is surge all the way around where you've pinned. So just take your time. You want this to be really nice and straight and clean because it is your waistband. Um, so flip that back up and that's what that should look like. We're going to go ahead now and turn our pants back inside out so we can add the little strap channel for our waistband. So I'm just measuring five. Obviously we know our waistband was five inches. So I usually do about five and a half because I want to have some excess. We can always cut the excess off, but you can't add more. So I've done a little strip that's five inches by two inches wide, which will probably end up cutting off some excess. I'm just going to pin that down right in the middle. Just make sure that lines up with your center seam at the front. So now that I've pinned that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my ruler and my fabric pen. And what I was just showing you there is that it's hanging over the edge of the seam. So we want to make sure it's hanging over the edge at the top and at the bottom. And then I'm going to draw a straight line right down the middle. And then I've added a, another line either side. So those are going to be our little channels. So I've done about like half a centimeter either side. So one down the middle right where that seam is and then one either side. And then I've just done a straight stitch on all of those lines that I drew. And as you can see, I'm going to insert my loop turner here and we've created a nice little strap channel it's super super easy and then all i'm going to do is grab my strap from before and pull that through and then we're going to grab the other side and pull that through as well so as you can see we just need the one strap and it just loops at the bottom and then that's how we're going to make our adjustable waistband so you, what you can do now is just flip those bad boys right side out so you can have a little look see and that looks awesome and it was so easy to add so all you have to do is add a strip of fabric and then do two little strap channels and then you're just going to go ahead and hem the bottom of your pants and that is how your pants have turned out so as you can see adding that little bit of height on the waistband made a big difference they're really nice and high-waisted Whenever you're trying a new pattern like this one, I do suggest trying it on some cheaper fabric first and then seeing if that pattern is right or if you need to make any adjustments. Um, with me, it's always Murphy's Law. If I make it on some cheap fabric, it turns out amazing. But if I just wing it and try it on some expensive fabric, it turns out terrible. So <laughs> take from that what you will, but that's what always happens to me. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.